firm to put him tonight. Huh? <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, Travis is one of the best to ever play the position. Uh, it was fun to learn some stuff from him at tight end U, um, and it was fun talking to him after the game. Obviously, he had a pretty solid game, too. Glad he's okay after that hit. Um, but yeah, just want to continue stacking good games on good games. What did he say to you after the game? I was just, he was like, keep balling, bro. It's good to see you out there doing your thing. Um, you know, just classic encouragement. He, he's an awesome guy. He's always been uh, one of my biggest encouragers, and he's, you know, we stay in touch in the off season and even through the season, too. Um, I want to keep watching film on him. So, you know, he's he's definitely a good mentor to have. What's changed for you this season? Um, I think it's just um, third year in the system, getting on the same page with Josh, building trust with him, building trust with Dave's. Um, I don't think a lot has changed, but um, just stacking good practices on each other and continuing to build that trust. Emmanuel, can you stick with it? It's the fifth game of the year, which it is, mm. and still appreciate how big this is. This is the Chiefs, a team that eliminated this Bills team last year. Come in here, play so well, beating them, and enjoy it. Right? Yeah, 100%. Uh, we're going to enjoy it on the plane back. Then we got like a three hour flight, as you could tell. I've been enjoying <laughs> it out there because I don't lost my voice <laughs> screaming, right? Uh, just trying to leave. Uh, but definitely going to enjoy it. But at the same time, it's not like we won a Super Bowl or something. It's still week five. We got to have perspective. And, uh, you know, we're going to enjoy it. But I'm looking forward to getting back to work. We got another primetime game Monday night versus the Tennessee Titans. So I'm looking forward to that. You've been on teams, I was going to say, you've been on teams that have gone on the road, proven like this, and yeah. gone on to big things. This is, would this be a kind of game you can at least feed off of at some other Yeah, time? I mean, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and say that the end goal is not to win a Super Bowl, right? And, but. You know, at the same time, it's step by step. And so today was a big step, you know, to go on the road and beat a team like this. But at the same time, it's a lot of ball to be played. So, yeah, I mean, we're not going to go crazy about it. We're going to go right back to work. Really, for both of you guys, because you both have long, long catches, what was going on with so many guys getting behind your secondary time? That's kind of unusual that you guys hit like four plays that are like 50 yards or something like that. Yeah, I think for me, like 17 is special. <laughs> Special, like you know, I know everybody kind of like, what did you do? But really, I just got open, and then the balls he's delivering on the run is just it's ridiculous what he's doing out there. Even him jumping over defender, I mean, he was just on a whole another level tonight. And a few times, yeah, he my teammate, and yeah, we 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 joke a lot. But I, I became a fan for a little bit. I was like, snap out of, it, snap out of, it. you got to go win a game. You weren't here. He had a, another hurdle. Yeah, I remember seeing it. Saw yeah. It. Where's this one compared to that? that I, I think this one might have been bigger because, uh, you, you know, we're on the road versus the Chiefs, crucial, crucial time of the game. He just leaps over somebody, gets the first down, keeps the clock rolling. Emmanuel, there are certain drives in a season that are championship caliber drives, and in particular the one I'm thinking of is in the fourth quarter. They score a touchdown, make it 11 points. Yeah. You guys go 12 plays, 85 yards. That's no, nah. nah, you spot on. You spot on to, to come up with a drive like that. We stalled out in the third, and I think everybody was kind of like, oh, Lord, I think we got a game. And I just knew that we just needed a drive to go down and really, uh, you know, put, get a lead that, you know, we could feel comfortable about. And that was the drive that we needed. Does it feel almost kind of crazy to say that? You know, you stalled out in the third, you put up 31 offensively, 38 total, and almost – come off the field thinking there was maybe a little bit more out there for you? you of course, of work? course. I mean, I don't know a game that I've played in that I sit back and say, oh, yeah, well, that was a perfect game. No games are perfect, but at the same time, like, we, we get to go back to work and just keep getting better and keep improving and trying to win games. And so I think ultimately the the, the, the goal of everything is just to win the game, and we're able to do that. Man, I think you said um, Josh was on a different level tonight. What did you guys see from him, like how he channeled I mean, he was the same Josh that, that we used to off practice. It's just, you know, he was special. He's been special the, the past, like, four weeks, you know. Uh, but I think, you know, primetime spotlight, I think the, the hurdling over the guy and then the pass to me was just ridiculous. I mean, like, it was on the line, rope, and after I caught it, I didn't even know what to do because I just kept thinking, like, yo, that throw was crazy. Like, literally, like, he just, the first one. Like, literally, he just put it there and it just stuck to my hand. It was like, what the heck? I mean, this dude is this dude was special tonight. He's a special quarterback, and I play with a lot of great ones. He's special, man. He's special. Awesome.
Um, I mean, we just practice scramble drills a lot. Um, I mean, that's like E was talking about. It's just another play that Josh made. I mean, he's on the run. I don't know how many yards he threw that in the air, but um, it was just one of those things we practice. Like, if we're on the sideline, you got to come back to Josh. I saw Diggs was over there coming back to him. So if no one's deep, you go deep. Um, and thankfully, Josh saw me. And I mean, yeah, like we saw, he's on the run, throwing the ball. I mean, I'm sure it was 50 yards just on a dot, like it was a perfect throw. I was just, the whole time it's in the air, I'm just like, got to catch it, got to catch it, got to catch it. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's just, he's special. Did you see him kind of waving at you? Thank you. No wave or anything. Nope.